Wheel clampers have cashed in on Christmas carols at Scarborough, immobilising dozens of cars and leaving families furious. Local businesses say it's an ongoing problem and lawyers are even questioning the legality of the practice. From the happy high of Scarborough's Christmas carols to the low of getting back to the car and seeing this. Last night, up to 30 vehicles belonging to carolers had their wheels clamped in one car park. Drivers forced to shell out $170 to free their cars to people waiting with FPOS machines. I would suggest this is a far too heavy-handed response um, and, and I believe it borders on extortion. People are going to say, well, if I'm going to go down... Uh, to do some sh uh, Christmas shopping or some uh, socialising or whatever, I'm going to avoid Scarborough. And that's the last thing we want. The privately owned complex is signposted, but last night, just the pizza shop and chemist were open. It's an ongoing problem at the beach spot. Visitors regularly stung during the day or while attending Thursday night beach markets. Lawyers today questioning the legality of wheel clamping. I think it should be made illegal because often damage is caused to a person's car that an individual doesn't have the right to stop someone from accessing their car, even if it's parked illegally. Some of these businesses say parking isn't only an issue during big events and restrictions need to be enforced, especially during summer months when beachgoers can clog up spaces for hours. They want the council to provide more parking and better public transport. The solution is them understanding that events like last night and the markets and all the other community events that the SBA is putting on is actually bringing business to their business. Nathan Brooks, Nine News.